Thanks for joining us on the weekend edition of National Focus. I'm Kimani Saint-Jean. In the headlines, the first geothermal plant expected to be operational by 2017. Domlek and the IRC begin consultation to review consumer rates and the ministries of trade, health and agriculture collaborate for a World Consumer Rights Day exhibition. Details of our headline stories and more in just a moment. Dominica is blessed with an abundance of water. But getting it to your home is an expensive venture. You have a responsibility to conserve water, to use it wisely. Remember the old adage, you never miss the water till the well runs dry. Think water, think life. Thanks for staying with us. By the year 2017, Dominicans can expect to see a geothermal plant in operation. The Honorable Minister for Trade, Energy and Employment made the announcement at the sixth meeting of the Interreg 4B project. The 8 million euro interregional project is designed to capitalize on Caribbean geothermal energy. The project is a continuation of work in assessing the potential of the Watson Waven geothermal resource in Dominica between April 2008 and June 2009. When the um, project was first um, conceived, really, and there were other partners like uh, St. Lucia and um, St. Kitts Nevis. Um, um, that were part of this uh, Interreg 4, um, but it has um, since narrowed down um, to uh, Dominica, mainly Dominica, Matnik, and Guadeloupe. And so that's why we are mainly here today. Of course, you know the importance of um, the geothermal development program in Dominica. Um, and uh, what I sought to do today uh, was to give uh, the Interreg partners a brief overview of where we are to date with uh, our de geothermal development uh, program. Since then, Dominica has successfully drilled test wells, production wells, and a re-injection well, as well as focused on the sensitization of the public about the project and its implications. Dominica will first seek to build a small plant capable of generating 6 to 8 megawatts of electricity with the hope of expanding to a much larger plant with up to 120 megawatts to supply neighboring Guadeloupe and Martinique. The small plant has two purposes. One, for the um, production of electricity in Dominica, but also almost like a, a pilot project so that the experiences um, um, learned from the development of the small plants um, will serve us well in the development of the uh, large geothermal power plant. And so that is why I, I, it was very important for me to be here today to um, not only uh, give Dominica's commitment to our foreign partners in this geothermal development program, but also in a sense to say thank you for their help and their commitment and their funding more importantly because had it not been for that interreg partnership um, perhaps we would not be as far um, as we are today of course to date over 54 million dollars has been spent towards the exploration of geothermal energy in dominica the honorable minister highlighted some critical areas that need to be addressed in order for geothermal energy to take full effect of course, we have to determine the, the, the kind of equipment um, that we, we have to use in the small plant. That is to say the turbines we have to use. We want to use the most efficient turbines out there. So there are, 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 are various schools of thought as to what turbines we should use. Of course, you know that the power ultimately has to be put on the, in local parlance, the high tension wires around Dominica, which is known as the grid. And so the grid has to be upgraded to be able to, 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 to accept the geothermal power. And if we put the power on the grid, the generators of Domlek also has to be able to accept the power. So all of those various issues have to be ironed out. In other news, uh, several questions were put on the table for discussion today by the Independent Regulatory Commission, the IRC, as the Commission on the Dominica Electricity Services met to decide the new electricity tariffs for consumers. Stakeholders of the consultation met at the Fortune Hotel to discuss the way forward on two documents which form part of the process of reviewing consumer rates. These are the Weighted Average Cost of Capital, WAC, and the 
Domlex Investment Plans. Lancelot Makaski, Executive Director of the IRC, walked the forum through the process that brought the two organizations to this point of consultation. On Monday, January 26, 2009, the Commission held its first consultation on Domlex tariff. On January 30th, 2009, the Commission invited Domlex to discuss desirable licensing issues relating to Domlex operations. Those concerned capacity planning, Domlex price control regime, Domlex technical standards, and Domlex quality of service standards. Out of these discussions and numerous public consultations, the Commission made decisions on a number of documents and orders on DOMLEC relating to DOMLEC's quality of service standard, capacity both in regard to DOMLEC and the adding of new capacity to the national grid, pricing relation, relating to wholesale and retail rates, standards for generation and transmission, distribution and supply, and licensing procedures. Even while the IRC conducted these consultations with Domlek, it was not empowered by the Electricity Supply Act to initiate tariff proceedings for Domlek. Also, while the Commission is independent in its decision-making process and its obligation to protect the interests of consumers of electricity as well as protect the financial integrity of Domlek, the Electricity Supply Act did not allow the IRC to obligate Domlek to apply for a review of its rates. In order for Domlek to put forward an application to the IRC for tariff review, both organizations had to agree to activate certain conditions under the Act. Francis Paul, Regulations Manager of the IRC, goes into detail about the consultation. According to our rules, we, we're supposed to be able to, we're supposed to have consultation so that the members of the public, which are stakeholders, as well as Domlek and any other stakeholders to have their input or at least give their opinion. Um, Domlek has um, give the thinking and what they request. The IRC itself is giving its thinking. And after this consultation, then a decision will be taken by the Commission. What we're going to determine is the, the, the financing costs. Because to get the revenue requirement, you, you're supposed to get um, the financing costs. You add that to the their operation maintenance the depreciation and so on, and that together will give you um, the revenue requirements. And once you get the re revenue requirements, you'll be able to break it up to, to unit costs of, of the electricity. And that's how the rates will be affected. While Domlek is proposing a return on equity of 14.7%, the IRC is proposing 11.4%. Because in our calculation, we, we see that um, what, what happening, even, even with the, the market itself, if you look at the U.S., um, all the utilities, um, the, the regulators, you can see the, the, the type of uh, return on equity they have been given, that's, that, that's the downward trend. Um, we, we take note of that. But we ourselves, um, as a regulator, we want to ensure that we, we allow them, like itself, to have sufficient return that they can do the investment. And at the same time, we have to look at the interests of, of the, the consumer. According to law, the Commission has 60 days to make a decision after the consultation comes to a close. The Commission intends to make a decision on the matter by March 19, 2015. The black cigatoka disease is on the decline. So says Honorable Minister for Agriculture and Fisheries, Johnson Drago, on focus on government and development radio program on Thursday night. The Honorable Minister says although the management of the disease has been his biggest challenge since his tenure as Minister, Dominica has mapped out a clear path to recovery for the banana and plantain subsectors. Thanks to the efforts of the Ministry 
organizations such as the OAS, who are already on board from since 2012, assisting the ministry in putting a framework together for the fight you know, of Black Sigatoka. Government established a unit headed by, by um, Mrs. Um, um, Abraham, and um, government started pumping funds into the, the, the fight of Black Sigatoka, procuring the relevant oils and chemicals and, and contracting persons across the island to, flag, to fight Black Sigatoka. And um, government was always advocating the need for farmers to do their deleafing and other, other, other um, um, activities. And um, we are at a stage now where we are looking ahead. The Honorable Minister says even in the midst of a slight decline in the spread of the disease, the Ministry will continue to be diligent in reviving the industry. The intention is to um, continue the fight to ensure that we always have the relevant chemicals and oil for the cycles to continue. We are pr providing the, the, the persons working, the spray men with the right gears and so on. We are working with the farmers. There is education sessions, both at the farm level, at the community level, on the television, on GIS. Um, personnel from the Ministry of Agriculture, like uh, Mr. Anselm, is working and, and, and we are at it. It has occupied our time, but we have been equal to the task. I can tell you, again, just two weeks ago, FAO sent back the consultant um, we, whom they had given to Dominica in the early stages, Mr. Perez from Cuba. He was here. He spent a couple of days doing an assessment. He's presently preparing his report for us as to where we are at. And as we go along, we'll tell you a bit more about the new initiatives we have in, in, in the fight of Black Sikatuka. The government of Dominica, through the Ministry of Trade, is committing to protecting the rights of consumers. In an exclusive interview with GIS News, Director of Trade, Martin Walter, describes the measures being put in place to increase awareness and safeguard the rights of local consumers. The Ministry of Trade has placed a, a special focus um, on consumer rights. Um, and protection of consumer rights. And to the extent where what we have done is to put in place a consumer affairs unit within the, the Division of Trade, um, with one of its mandates being to manifest uh, a robust consumer protection framework in the Commonwealth of Dominica, and also to take on board consumer complaints and to, to deal with them, and also to review and ensure the passage of a Consumer Protection Act in Dominica, among among other things such as dealing with products um, under under supply control. Walter stated that the Ministry of Trade will be distributing brochures to the public and holding a private sector consultation on the proposed Consumer Protection Act as part of their plan to disseminate information. Also, as part of Consumer Rights Day, an exhibition was held on the ground floor of the government headquarters this morning. Kadisha St. Louis was on scene and files this report. We are here at the ground floor of the government headquarters where the Ministry of Trade, Energy and Employment is collaborating with the Ministry of Health and Agriculture to host an exhibition in commemoration of World Consumer Rights Day. The theme for today's observance was helping consumers choose healthy diets. Locals were shown everyday food items and were taught to identify those that were healthy and those that were not. Mary Nestit is a nutritionist in the Ministry of Health. We want our consumers to not only look at healthy foods in the sense of the nutritive value, but we want them to look at it from a point of view of safety. Is the food safe for consumption? We also want them to look at um, the methods in which they prepare their foods. Are they getting the best out of the food when they prepare it in a particular way? Teed noted that the exhibition is part of efforts to reduce the impact of non-communicable diseases, which is a major concern for the Ministry of Health. The nutritionists encourage locals to read labels on products to find out the primary ingredients to be able to make wise choices. Consumer rights is not only about the vendor who is selling the barbecue chicken or the supermarket or the um, fisherman who sells his fish, but it is also about the consumer herself or himself, what they do in their homes. 
Health educator Mignon Rose Schillingford encourages nationals to be vigilant and make wise choices as they may pay less for the items now but pay more daily later. If the seal of an item is broken, remember a lot of rodents, cockroaches, um, rats and so find themselves among those goods and one of the things we can get is leptospirosis because it can be um, it can go into the item. So we may pay a dollar which is two dollars less for the item but after pay a hospital bill of three hundred dollars or three thousand and even lose our life. Royal Schillingford said that there was a great deal of response from the public and requests were made for another exhibition on a wider scale. Dominican Priscilla James who attended the exhibition says that she has learned quite a bit. One thing that struck me was the portions we were supposed to be eating. They have samples of the monka beans and fruits. They said only half a banana. When we eat banana, we eat like four bananas. So I think a problem we have in Dominica is that we eat too much. So that was very educational for me. The exhibition featured a display of an entire lunch menu, which was sampled by the public. With the enthusiastic responses from those sampling the meal, we can see that the Ministry of Health, Agriculture and Trade are doing their part to promote healthy lifestyles and habits. Reporting for GIS News, I'm Kadisha St. Louis. Back to you, Kimani. Thanks, Kadisha, for that report. GIS continues to explore every avenue to disseminate information related to national development. Web Administrator at GIS, Jana Hector, explains. At this point um, of the news, we want to take a little time to tell our viewers about the different ways you can access the news stories and, and other programs on GIS. And with us today, we have Jana Hector. Jana is not only your reporter, but she is also web administrator at GIS. So welcome, Jana. Thank you, Kimani. This is a bit different, yes, okay. um, but it's still to share information with viewers, so it's not that different. Yes. Um, we have um, taken a step out of our traditional shell. Um, you've always known GIS to be your favorite um, source of news on your through your cable provider every night. You watch your news 7.30, 8.30, 10.30, and a recap at 6, 6.30 a.m. Yeah. But we want to let you know that we are also on the web. Yes, so you can access the stories that you missed on the web or through Facebook or through Twitter that we also have right now. So Jana is gonna give us a little bit more about that. Yes, first Kimani, we have a website. A lot of viewers still do not know that we have a website. It's been up for a long time. And this is for persons who, um, who watch our news but also want to get it in text format. Sometimes the insert might pass you a little, you miss a bit of the story, you want to be, you know, in your groove. Um, you can log on to our website, www.news.gov.dm, and you will find all the stories that from the night before in full text format on our website. Right. And Twitter is also linked to our Facebook, so whatever we post on Twitter, even if you're not, um, uh, do not have a Twitter account, you can right. still access, right? Yes. So we have taken it a bit further um, besides having a website. We are also tweeting now and our Twitter account is very new. We started um, just this past December, but that has not stopped us from tweeting very often and very much. And it's linked to our Facebook. So you, once you log on to our Facebook account, um, GIS News Dominica, you can get really up to the minute news or of the times of the day, um, links to videos, uh, photos, stories, tweets. Um, you can find our Twitter account, follow us at GIS Dominica. We also have a YouTube account, mm -hmm. which is kind of our baby because if you miss nightly news for whatever reason, you do not have time to catch up with programming, um, the programs that we, the documentaries that we do on our news package, you can follow us on YouTube where you can find every single news package every night on YouTube so you can watch it at your own convenience yeah. as well as um, those special programs mm -hmm. that we do all the time like um, a national employment program feature or something on the housing revolution or water projects yeah. so just go on YouTube type in GIS Dominica when you get onto our channel whatever you're looking for just type it in the search box and it will be right there yeah. 
for you. And it's important too, even for um, Dominicans living overseas, they can see exactly what's going on in Dominica. So it's not just for the people living in Dominica, but those overseas can get a chance to see what's going on in the country. And we must say to that GIS is your source for credible information. Right. And we have more local programming than any other news station on the island, if I may say so myself. It is what we do. So we actually have all the archive footage and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So you, you know, you might be an avid Google searcher and you want to get news about Dominica. Right. Um, in addition to finding song lyrics, recipes, and everything else that you search for on Google, you can type in, for example, you want to read about Black Sigatoka. You type in on, on Google Black Sigatoka, GIS Dominica. You will find everything that we have ever done on Black Sigatoka, and we will be in the top 10 or 5 of your results. So you know that you can trust us. Google trusts us because our news is credible, reliable, so you can, you can do that as well. Yes. So we really want to encourage our viewership to, to use those social medias and it's an opportunity for you to comment on, on yes. the programming, comment on, on different things that you see, you know. It's an opportunity to converse with us and let us know what you think, if we need to improve, if we need to bring programs that you want to see that you yes. haven't seen yet on GIS, yes. then we could do that for you. We want so, it to be a part of the process. Yes. Thank you, Jana. Thank you, Kuali. <laughs> and that's the English segment of the news. Mark Prison St. Louis is next with Creole Highlights. Hello tout le monde, bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole, non moins c'est McPherson St. Louis. Premièrement, Dominique en général, quand tu as vie et puis encouragement pour garder bien pour les bagailles qui ont capturé pour consommer. Avec ça, la a sorti l'ordre de nos Priscilla Privo, consultant ministre commodité, quand Dominique a branché et puis la ouest la terre, observé journée consommée dimanche. Le programme là, c'est un monde qui a qualité manger, qui a mené plus de meilleure santé. Manger fruits, manger um, légumes, manger um, poids, manger noix, manger un thé, un dachin, un yam, c'est vrai ça, manger assez en um, um, plein, manger plein. C'est manger ça, ça a mené plus de meilleure santé passer manger qui um, process et puis nous ca encourager moun pour connaître ça yo ca gagner connaître ça yo ca manger connaître ça yo ca et puis l'argent puisque manger même cher mais là où point l'argent pour gagner manger et puis même manger là ca gagner là il pas qu'à faire sens comme ça nous ca um, éduquer moun Comment yo sa tapé plus et manger comment yo sa um, chen manger yo ada on manier qui sa uh, mené plus et santé nos provoca aussi aviser moun contre préparation manger nous ka di si ou ka fè manger il meilleur pour pour uh, bec manger ou passer ou fruit et puis manger fruit ni autant graisse et puis tout trop gros qui mène obésité qui fait mon venir tout gros et puis là tout gros ou ça ou ça tape diabétis ou ça tape um, maladie à uh, chez ou ça tape um, um, pressure ou ça tape autant maladie cancer aussi c'est hot manger mon qui manger quand ça uh, 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 éducation des mains et puis tout ça, nous avons dit, c'est quand manger, nous ne pouvons pas manger, plus manger, manger qui est plus euh, meilleur pour la santé. Quand ça, là, nous avons souhaité manger, souhaité un supermarket où nous pouvons garder bien ça au cap. On a une nouvelle compagnie IRC Chain Consultation qui mène plusieurs stakeholders pour parler contre la proposition d'Omlec qui concerne l'opération électricité en Dominique. Si le manager de régulation IRC, Francis Paul, il y a une obligation de la publique classe pour proposer ça. Ça a un bon plan ici, Jordi, la um, IRC, la um, Domlec, a um, commandé pour pour un um, retour en l'argent qui okay, investe en uh, électricité. Uh, uh, um, il y a aussi le rôle lui-même. On est pour porter ce bagage-là là, devant le public. Là, so that, um, tout le monde qui est 
tout le monde qui est en train de dire que ça a une vision de ça en Dom le Kadi et ça à IRC même qui a catché. Donc après ça fait, IRC a commissionné les gens qui ont une décision et a dit ok, ça c'est ça Dom le Kadi a tapé à l'investissement. Mais c'est Paul fait parole qui a aussi pour qu'on prend une décision à ce propos de Nous pour qu'on prend une décision, puis euh, avant qu'on prend une décision, vous voulez tendre ça à tout d'autres monde qui a dit. Puis si vous prenez une décision, il va affecter les gens qui sont dans l'hôtel, il va affecter les gens qui sont dans l'ordinaire, les gens qui sont dans l'hôtel, qui sont dans qui sont dans l'électricité. So, um, nous nous ni pour certain que tout le monde ça mette mon soyo et puis après nous tant tout le monde nous tant d'hommes like déjà then nous qui a visé commission nous nou pour prendre une décision en, en laissa on a nouvelle ministre information honorable Kelva Daro qui a fait parole que gouvernement libre parti dominique qui continue investissement qui continue bagaille développement éducation peuple là Ministre Daru fait pas wall cela pendant cérémonie pour tester contrat oui bâti vers l'occasion State College Dominique ou la centre ICT qui bâti selon ministre Daru gouvernement Dominique a dépensé autant l'argent à ces populations là bagaille qui qui baisse mal té en pays là les bon parti Dominique depuis l'année 2000 déjà metté un plan de wall pour Dominique taper haut qualité éducation plaisir monde qui qui travaille en secteur public et plus encore qui bénéficier les l'occasion ça là qui ouvert et puis finalement Dominique Cambonche et puis plaisir pays on la terre pour célébrer moi francophonie l'année 2015 l'année ça là commission nationale de la francophonie qui a collaboré et puis alliance française ministre éducation et canadian high commission pour célébrer si l'on correspondante nationale la francophonie, Sonia Akpa, plusieurs activités qui sont en place. Nous avons lancé toutes ces activités que nous avons fait pour le mois de mars. Nous avons commencé l'année passée, nous avons commencé la semaine passée, avec le traditionnel Toys Fest, festival joué traditionnel, qui est une division culte organisée et l'Organisation internationale de la francophonie va division, division of Culture 2000 dollars pour organiser le festival Sala. Et puis, um, si même Sala, nous avons d'autres activités. Jordi, la High Commission of Canada to Dominica est ici avec nous. Il va présenter le ministère de l'Éducation, l'Alliance française, et le livre pour les enfants de l'école. Les enfants de l'école primaire et les enfants de l'école secondaire. Avec pas fait par Wall qui l'a mis là, il a catégorisé l'école Penville pour adopter un school project qu'on pas activité. Nous avons d'autres activités, nous avons les Penville samedi pour faire du travail, pour, ça, pour faire ça nous qui est en French Room, où là, nous avons fait ces enfants-là, desk et euh, euh, bookshelf, nous allons décorer, nous allons peinturer, nous allons faire un bel petit classroom pour apprendre le français primaire. Et puis après ça, nous avons d'autres activités, Mademoiselle Franck Pouponi Pageant, nous avons une on, 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 soirée francophone et award ceremony. Et puis dans les salles, nous avons des awards à Michael Henderson et Midnight Groovers pour tout travail là. Il a déjà fait en musique pour développer la langue française et la langue créole en musique. Mais c'est madame, ça c'est tout pour nous nouvelles en créole. Pour à présent, non moins c'est Marc Fossil saint Louis. Ni un bon week-end. Au revoir. Coming up next, one more tip on oral hygiene. If you can believe this, why can't you believe this? Uncle tried to make me have sex. Some mothers don't believe their own children when they say they've been sexually abused and they don't report it. Remember, if anyone asks to see or touch their private parts, touches them inappropriately, 
shows them or forces them to touch one's private parts, has sex with them, shows them pornographic material, or deliberately lets them hear or see the act of sex, then it is sexual abuse. Believe your child and report the sexual abuse. For more information about child abuse, contact these agencies. This message brought to you by UNICEF and this station. Don't brush your teeth immediately after meals and drinks, especially if they were acidic. Acidic foods such as citrus fruits, sports drinks, tomatoes, sodas can soften tooth enamel. Brushing your teeth at this stage can speed up acid's effects on your enamel and erode the layer underneath. It is suggested that you wait at least 30 to 60 minutes before brushing. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica and follow us on Twitter at gisdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I'm Kimani Senja. Thank you for watching and have a splendid weekend.